the church was born in a 10-day prayer meeting. Immediately after Jesus ascends into heaven, in Acts chapter 1, we have this interlude in the upper room where for 10 entire days the disciples are praying with one accord, waiting for the promise of the Father. Ten days after Jesus ascends into heaven, on the day of Pentecost, the Holy Spirit is poured out and the church is born. It's been almost 2,000 years since that first 10-day prayer meeting, and the movement that Jesus started has spread to the ends of the earth. We're not just a little band of 120 in the upper room anymore. Now we're a global church with tens of millions of participants from every tribe, language, and nation. Could it be that at this moment when the gospel has finally gone to the ends of the earth, that he's calling us back to where it all started, back to the upper room, but this time as a global church? In 2004, I had a significant encounter with the Lord. I saw entire cities shut down for 10 days of worship, fasting, and repentance. Now, many years later, each year around the globe, during the 10 days of awe, from the Day of Trumpets to the Day of Atonement, hundreds of locations join together in these 10-day prayer meetings. I believe God is calling us back to the upper room, back to the place where it all started, but it doesn't end there. We're headed to a place where God is going to stop cities to recognize the worth of Jesus. And ultimately, we're headed not to Jesus' ascension into heaven, but to His returning back to us on earth. The challenge is an individual commitment to join the upper room, and it has four parts. First of all, we invite you to take time off from work or normal life during the entire 10 days. We invite you, second, to devote yourself to prayer, to worship, to engaging with Jesus, with other believers. Third, we invite you to fast food at some level during the 10 days. And finally, we invite you to fast from social media and entertainment. Once you personally say yes to doing this, immediately you've got a new problem. You're alone. <laughs> and you'd like some people to pray with. So the second step of saying yes to 10 days involves beginning to invite and gather other believers to pray together. Over the years, we've seen hundreds of believers from all walks of life organize 10-day gatherings in their cities. The early church's united prayer culminated in the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. What if a global church, watching and waiting in one accord all around the earth, what if this global upper room could be part of God's plan to release revival, repentance, harvest, and ultimately this global cry of Maranatha, come Lord Jesus.